What's up everyone, Willy Apple here, and today Apple has released the first beta of macOS Sequoia 50.4 after nearly a month of waiting. In this video, I'll be showing you what is new inside the software. We've got quite a bit to talk about, let's get started. Alright, so the first thing we could talk about is if we go into the system settings right here and go to software update, you'll see that it looks a little bit different. First, it shows which version you have installed up here. And once it is done checking for updates, you see it now has a little check mark right here. And it now says your Mac is up to date and shows you the version. And finally, something that we have been waiting for for a long time is that we now have a manual check for update button. So it'll just check for updates again. Before you need to press Command R, and if that didn't work, you would go into automatic updates, then press OK. But now we no longer need to do that, we can just press a check for updates button, which is extremely nice to see. Alright, the next feature has to do with Apple Intelligence. So your Apple Intelligence will get re-downloaded here again, but we got a couple brand new things inside of here. The first thing is if you were to press this button right here and wait a little bit, it will now give you some suggestions. So if you just click on one, you will just type it in for you and it will give you some suggestions. Which is extremely nice to see that we now have suggestions here. We if we use something more often, we could just click on it. Now I'm pretty sure these are just suggestions and they might change, but there are no, there's no word yet if these will automatically adapt or not. And now the next thing has to do with image playgrounds. We've got a brand new style right here called Sketch. Now if I were to just do some random themes once again, yeah, but I'm not sure if that is a sketch or not, but it doesn't look really good to me right now. But let's just remove Robot and see what happens to see if it looks a little bit better. Okay, yeah, that looks a lot better already. So you now have a new Sketch option, which allows you to just create different sketches of different things but still my favorite one is animation, so I'll probably be using animation more often, but it's just nice to see that we now have this inside of Image Playgrounds. Now the next thing is that we got some brand new languages supported with Apple Intelligence. So before it would not be supported in these following languages, which are French, German, Italian, Spanish, Portuguese, Japanese, Korean, and traditional Chinese, but now they are all supported here inside of macOS 15.4. Now while Apple Intelligence was enabled in the EU, there are no changes for regions at the moment, it's just languages. But Apple could be gearing up to release Apple Intelligence inside of China, since currently that is banned for some reason. But hopefully they bring Apple Intelligence to more places very soon. Now next thing is that we got a brand new shortcut action in here. So if I were to type open conversation, you'll see that this is brand new. So if I were to click right here, we'll show some conversations. If I were to just play the shortcut right here, you'll see that it just opens up in the messages app as you would expect. Now I know Siri still sucks, but we still got updates with Siri. So if we were to go inside of here and choose a voice, you'll see we now have two more additional voices. So if you live in Australia, you'll be pretty happy to see that you got more voices for Siri now. Now next thing has to do with the news app. So we got a couple brand new things inside of here. It's mainly just one thing. It's that we have a brand new category. So we have a food category. Now let me see if I can find it officially. It's basically just more titles and stuff like that. But you do need to be subscribed to News Plus in order to get this feature. And it also is gonna show you some recipes that you can follow. And it apparently has an Apple Music lyrics look. So it's gonna be more like the iOS version since this is a Mac Catalyst app. But yeah, as you can see, if I try to go into a section and ask me to try Apple News Plus for free. I'm not going to buy it since Apple News is kind of useless to me. But if you're interested in looking up recipes inside the news app, you can now do that. Now, the next thing is that we have a long awaited feature. If we were to go inside of here, you now see we got mail categories. They work pretty much the exact same way as iOS. So if you were to click on it, it will show you all of your emails. And you also got primary, transactions, updates, and promotions. Pretty nice that we now have mail categories inside of the mail app. And if you want to get back to the old view, you could simply just click on primary again. Or you just go into view and click show mail categories and that will just turn off mail categories completely. And there's also a brand new section inside of here that shows you what all the categories are about. And Mail will be doing a little upgrade. So as soon as you update and open up the Mail app, it will optimize stuff it says and it will make the Mail app better with categories and stuff like that. Next, we got a brand new widget inside of here built into macOS. So if I were to scroll down to the Podcast app, you'll see we got a brand new library widget. So this will show you some of your saved episodes and we also got one for shows. So if I were listening to the show, I guess I was listening to an Apple event one day, you're gonna see we now have these features. Now they are really nice widgets inside the monochrome, but still pretty nice that we have them inside of macOS. But I'm gonna be removing these as I don't use the podcast app at all. 
Now let's talk about what's coming in future betas, as we got some references of brand new emojis. It looks like it will be coming in macOS 15.4 like it usually does in the .4 update. However, they don't seem to be enabled quite yet, but they, we do have references inside of the code for them. But anyways, that seems to be about it. Thanks for watching, come like, subscribe, share with your dear friends, draw my apps Willy Widgets and Willy Study in the description down below, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!